What's up people? It's Barry Big Plums Fishing here back at my local Spring Hill Trout Fishery. It's an ice cold morning, freezing cold. The lake was just stocked yesterday. I've managed to get one nice fish. Uh, can I show you him? Let's have a look. Let's see if I can twizzle this round. Managed to get one nice fish earlier on today. Oh, let's see if I can get him. Anyway, basically, it's freezing cold. The lake was stocked yesterday. I should be getting pull after pull, which tells me on a standard floating line, I am fishing too high in the water column. Even if I let my flies settle down, every time on a floating line, you draw them flies in, they come up in the water column, which means I'm going above my fish. So, I think now is the time to try some booby fishing. Hooah. Okay guys, on the five weight today, my Orvis Helios 3. Very, very nice rod, very happy with it, five weight. And I'm on my sinking line. So you fire that out, it sinks about four inches per second. So it's gonna get me down. With the booby fishing, we just lay this out. Let me just lay this out here on the platform. I have got that two foot leader and there's my booby. It's called booby because it's got foam eyes. And what do they look like? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, so it's called a booby because the eyes look like a pair of jugs, a pair of wazzers. Not exactly traditional fly fishing, but these foam eyes float. So what happens is, my line sinks, settles on the bottom, this sits there, and basically just bobs around. I then draw the line in, it comes down, and then up. I leave it for a second, draw it down for an inch, and it goes up. And the trout seem to find this irresistible, especially in the winter months. Um, this is not a good method of fishing for catch and release because it does tend to deep hook fish. Um, the best advice I can give you if you are going to use for catch and release is to not leave the fly static for too long. I call it a fly, it's a law. Um, what I would do is pull it down, leave it, pull it down, leave it for 10 seconds, pull it down, leave it for 10 seconds and watch the end of your rod, just like your ledger in, it's going to go tap, 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 and then you strike into the fish. So there we go. If you've got a nice, clear fishery, I can guarantee you the fish will see this. Um, I've never been anywhere and tried boobies and not caught fish. And there are other ways you can do it. You can uh, tie a rapala knot and steadily retrieve it. That does work as well. Um, but pretty much, let's just see what happens. Um, I do honestly believe that I'm fishing too high in the water column and this will certainly get me down there. Let's see if I can get some fish. You just gotta wait for that to sink. So you have to if you start retrieving it before that line's laying on the bottom, it's not going to work. You need that line to hit the bottom and the booby foam to lift the fly above the, uh, the silt level. Otherwise, you're not going to fish effectively like this. So that's probably still sinking. It's only four inches per second. I always give it about 45 seconds before I start retrieving. You're going to feel some pressure on your line because it's going to be laying on the bottom. Once you feel that pressure, you're good. So here we go. It's like ledgering, you can see the end of rod do that. You know, tick, 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 and that means there's a fish having a go. There you go. Here we go. Oh, there we go. The end of my rod was going tap, tap, tap. There we go. Perfect booby fishing, it's going ch -ch 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 
struck into it. Perfect. I knew I was fishing too high. rainbow guys, maybe a pound and a half, two pounds. So it's quite close in. keeping my neck closer. There we go. So there you go guys, deep sinking line and booby. It works. When the fish are down deep, sometimes you just have to go where the fish are. And today, that worked out well. Oh, lovely. As you can see here, lovely rainbow trout. So, um, it's sometimes frowned upon booby fishing, but sometimes when the fish are deep, it is one of the best and most effective tactics you can use. So have a quick look at that fish and see if I can get you another one. Okay guys, that's the first fish I caught, which is about four pound. And it's got a nice one there, about two pound as well. That's a lovely rainbow. I'm going to fillet them tonight and batter them and eat them. Um, lovely jubbly. Let's see if I can get another one on booby. Okay guys, let's see if I can show you some more of the principles of booby fishing. Let's just fire it out there. So you can see the booby is in the water and my line is sinking. Those foam eyes will keep that fly float or the lure float into the top of the water. My line will pull it down into the depth. So that's always going to be trying to get to the top of the water. As you retrieve your line two inches, it pulls the booby down and then the foam eyes, once you stop retrieving, will make it rise. So your leader is two foot all the time. That's going to be sitting two foot above the water. Sorry, above the um, above the silt on the bottom. And you just wait for your end of your rod to go tap, tap, tap and then you strike into your fish. looking rainbow guys That's a beautiful. <laughs> that was a beautiful take, guys. That's what I can't fly fishing for. This time of year, they've got so much fight in them. These fish, they love cold water.
lovely fish. Okay guys, booby fishing, very very effective, um, is it fly fishing? That certainly is debatable, um, there are traditional methods and non-traditional methods but in the depths of winter when the fish are down deep in the water column, very very effective, there's always big fish taken on booby every single winter when I'm out fishing. Also it's quite effective in the summer months, in the summer months when the sun's baking the water, sometimes the fish go deep and you can also uh, pick them up on booby there. So is it fly fishing? That's very very debatable. Um, you've got traditional methods and non-traditional methods. Don't let anyone tell you how you should or shouldn't fish. At the end of the day, it is effective and it does catch a fish. Um, you know, there's certain methods which are semi-looked down upon in fly fishing. Boobies is one, indicators is another. And I'm someone who would always try and catch fish using traditional means, using a hare's ear or whatever, when at all possible. But sometimes there's tools in my toolbox which I will go to if I'm having a tough session and booby fishing is certainly one of those methods which are well worth uh, giving a bash to. Don't let anyone tell you how you should or shouldn't fish guys, it's all about catching fish and uh, no one has the right to tell you what you should or shouldn't do, especially if it's within the rules of the water you're fishing. So as you saw guys, very effective and uh, I'm going to clear off now and maybe try something a little bit different because um, I've caught a couple of fish on booby. As always guys, this is Barry Big Plums Fishing, thanks for watching. See you soon.